Welcome back to Bethel Message Q&A session. Praise the Lord, brothers, and uh, praise the Lord, Brother Moses. Praise the Lord, brother. We had a wonderful session today, and the message was on the life of Abner from 2 Samuel, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th chapters. Brother, there are a couple questions that we have, so we'll quickly dive into those. The first question is, it took 13 years uh, from the time that David has been anointed by uh, Samuel to the time that he became a king. It's a very long way. It shows David's utter dependence on God's timing. How do we determine God's timing for a believer? What are some of the examples, practical ways you would suggest on uh, depending on God's timing? First of all, let's look at the life of our Lord Jesus Christ himself in the New Testament. So we see when Mary when there is a marriage thing going on in Cana, then uh, Mary comes to Jesus, our Lord, and she says that they're running out of wine, do something. And Jesus knows what she's asking completely. But he makes a very good statement saying that, my time is not yet come. Jesus knows that his father loves him much and he can turn the water into wine. No problem with that. But Jesus, instead of that, he makes a misstatement that his time is not yet come. Mm. So which means that the Lord himself is depending on the Lord's timing to start his ministry. Such a great God, holy God, still depending on God's timing. Right one. So when come to David also, David, he even though he's anointed, he has so much of respect to God and the fear of the Lord in his heart made him to wait on the Lord because he knows one thing, Lord will never make a mistake. To wait for his timing is always good for him. Yeah. So as believers also, we should wait for the God's timing, things to happen in our lives. How do we know? It is one thing that how David maintained that fear of the Lord in him, asking him, asking him. So word of the Lord says, David inquired the Lord. Mm -hmm. So that's the word. We should inquire the Lord, asking him, is this the best time or not? Mm -hmm. Then God tells him, David, this is the right time, now go. And then he goes, and then we see the fruitfulness of David. Thank you, brother. There's a second question that we have. This is a, a little uh, controversial, but it is very widely prevalent in the churches, in believers, and the followers of uh, Christ ministry. We always see, we know that Abner knew that David is the anointed king. In spite of that, he goes and he makes Ishbosheth as the king. And he uses Ishbosheth as, uh, as a puppet and wants to play some politics to meet his own ends. Things happen like that. Ministry Logani, there are certain power plays that, that some of the brothers do. And sometimes even the elders, you know, Anagod Gani, but happens. How should we avoid this? Because it's so widely present in the Christendom, falling to this trap of Fabner, mm. trying to play politics, using people and all of that. How do we avoid something like this? Great question, brother. I think it takes a lot of time to explain, but let me explain in a very nutshell, very fast, as much as possible. I think what Abner did, exactly what we see in the New Testament, what Pharisees also did the same thing. Mm. So it's very replica to one. So in the New Testament times, when Pharisees, they know the law very well. But when it comes to the actions, they did not even perform up to the mark. So Jesus tells the people also that, listen to what they say, but don't do what they do. Why did Lord Jesus Christ say? And also at times we see that Lord, you know, condemning them also. I think the main thing for Pharisees in the New Testament or for Abner to play the power play or to have that authority among themselves is because of two reasons. One, we see in the life of Pharisees that they are very self-righteous. Even in Abner's life also, there is self-righteousness that I am worthy, mm. I am good, I know everything. Second thing is self-will. Pharisees had that self-will in their lives. Our Lord Jesus Christ, He should have the self-will also. But He said, it's not my will, but let your will be done. Mm. 
so he surrendered himself his will self will to the lord pharisees did not do it abner did not do it they want to exercise those two in their lives which resulted in a very bad you know phase for in their lives thank you brother brothers and sisters we enjoyed the message today you can find the link to the full message in the description of this video i hope you will enjoy as much as we enjoyed we'll see you back again next week thanks again for joining us praise the lord